Philip wrote in recently asking, I need to expand the number of HDMI ports on my TV, but I'm worried that using an HDMI splitter will reduce either video or audio quality. Is there an ideal solution to expand the number of HDMI ports? What would your perfect solution be? Hmm. Hmm. I bet it'd be an HDMI switch. Hmm. Or a switcher. Fear not the switches. And I, there are no switches <laughs> that I'm aware of that degrade signal in any way, shape, or form unless it's somehow defective. Well, yeah, it's basically it's passing zeros and ones. It's not like you know audio Should switchers be. of the past where you'd switch from one input to another and the, the sound would decay. You're, you're passing zeros and ones. They don't degrade passing over a switch if it works correctly. Totally. And it will also amplify the signal. So if you're doing a particularly long run with HDMI, you could then say break that up with a switch in the middle and have it regenerate that signal and spit it out clean again hmm. and so you could help boost a long run if you needed to but normally you wouldn't want to do that but uh don't fear the switches the difference though okay now an hdmi switch right is really you would take that one port say you have one hdmi port on your tv you would send the output from the switch to that one port and then on the back of the port you have other ports then to connect to the switch itself now the main difference between all of these switches are just integrated features, ease of use things. Right. Do you want one that uses a remote? Actually most nowadays incorporate remotes except for the cheapest ones of all. Uh, also do you want the auto switch? Say you turn on something, say, say they're prioritized ports. Port one is going to be active, but if port two or three become active, it'll switch to those and if those turn off it'll go back to one. Mm -hmm. That kind of functionality is really nice to have, especially that. And then you don't have to worry about, you could hide the switch and then you don't have to worry about it. You just, as your devices turn on and off, it'll just switch ports for you automatically. Now, I noticed the mono price and the Oppo, the legendary, uh, the legendary yeah. uh, HM31. No they both have made. multiple <laughs> inputs and a single HDMI output, yep. but then you've got a uh, mono price splitter here that has one input and four outputs. Now that's a different beast right there. That particular Monoprice product on the top right there is actually an HDMI amplifier. I use that when I want to send one signal to multiple TVs at once. Mm -hmm. Say like my, my source device. So uh, you're splitting your HDMI. I in am. I am amplifying it out to say I want to look at the same image, same content on five displays at once, or in that case four. Mm -hmm. You can get those up to eight port if you need them to. But that's, that would be more for say, you know, a bar, a, a lab bar. environment. <laughs> you want to create that kind of a scene. If you there, have a house where you actually have 42 HDTVs there you go. all playing the same thing. There are also a, a type of beast out there, a switching beast, called matrix switchers. And these typically feature two outputs. So say you had a projector and a flat panel screen, like one of those multi-million dollar setups we were in nah, nah, the high-end <laughs> home theaters we were looking at earlier. Drool. That person who had the projector and the plasma, well, say you wanted to switch between both of those with the same other source devices. So mm -hmm. I had like a pile of four source devices, and I will sometimes use the projector, I'll sometimes use the TV, maybe I'll use them both at the same time. But that's where those matrix switchers come in handy because then it gives you more control over uh, your sources versus multiple displays Got it. and how you mix those up. It's really Exciting kind of stuff. And otherwise, fear not. I've, I've really had no problems. If, if your TV has a firmware update, though, for it, do check and see if that's already enabled and updated, because most of your problems you'll encounter with using products like these are usually on the TV side of things. It has an old implementation of an HDMI port. <laughs> Not old. You I mean, and your it, aging HDMI port. It should work, but some HDMI ports are better than others in terms of how they were verified and tested and put together. This is true. <laughs>